what is up guys oh my dear god it is horrible outside today it's super wet super rainy just a miserable rotten horrible day I'm just after finishing work there now and I'm gonna call over to my sisters so I hope you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday today is just vile like I said the weather is absolutely appalling so crap um, I know I said I would show you guys what I got in Aldo and Victoria's Secret so I will show you them later on hopefully but like I said right now I'm just calling over to her house I was just working all morning and then I edited a vlog during my lunch break it's pretty much all I'm up to nothing too exciting I have a couple of pallets to bring over to Jenna as well so I'm gonna try and get them over to her whenever I see her next uh, last night we kind of had bad news in Ireland because the cases of COVID are on the rise we've had more restrictions put in and if anything they're more complicated than anything like I mean our new Taoiseach I'm not really crazy about him I didn't like him to begin with I never voted for him he's very watery you know one of those type of people who you just they don't give you like that air of strength and you don't get like a good vibe from them. I just don't get a good vibe from them. So basically we haven't gone back a phase or anything like that. We just have new restrictions in place, which obviously means that like there is a lockdown in three of our counties at the moment, County Leash, Kildare and Offaly. So they're completely locked down and I'm not really sure what the restrictions are within those counties. I don't know if like restaurants are open or what the story is. It's very, very vague. I know that everybody who works in those counties has to work from home because there is a guy in Paddy's office who is from Kildare and he has to work from home but now they're telling everybody that can work from home I have never gone back into my office since the like restrictions on COVID were lifted I've never gone back in so I don't think I'm ever going to go into the inside of my office because my contract will probably be finished in there by the time any restrictions are loosened so I can't see myself ever going back in there it's also kind of annoying because of my permanent position which I have to do the interview for. I don't know when I'm gonna to get to do the interview for that either because I just, you know, at the moment it's everything's all up in the air. So my life is kind of, I feel like a little bit, I was talking about this yesterday, but I feel like my life is a little bit on hold at the moment. Like I want to get my permanent job and stuff and there's things that I wanna do as well, like with getting a mortgage and things. It's much harder to get a mortgage if you're self-employed. Not impossible, but it's a lot harder. And I want to have a good pensionable job. I've decided like during COVID, like that was kind of one of the things. And YouTube's great and everything, but it's a hobby for me. It'll always be a hobby. It turned into a full-time job and I just realized the stress that I was putting on myself when I made it a full-time job. Now I'll probably have to go back to doing it here and there, which is fine um, until I can get my permanent position, but I just feel I don't know I just feel like since the pandemic like things have changed in my life and um, there's things that I want to achieve there's things that I want to do um, obviously like everybody wants to own their own home and I've wanted that for so so long and it's been such a long process and now this has happened but I know I'll get there like I said this morning on Twitter that everybody's timing is different and things that happen to certain people happen at different times and I'm gonna stand by that like my timing is just different to other people's timing and likewise other people's timing is different to mine and I'm just gonna go with the flow of it and not panic and worry too much because I feel like like that I've been putting way too much pressure on myself for certain things oh you're a certain age you need to achieve this this and this by that age and you know when those things don't happen I'm kind of like why is this not like happening I don't know but anyway look I'm a, a very happy person so I suppose that's the most important thing I'm, I'm with somebody who I absolutely love more than anybody I've ever loved in my whole life and couldn't believe you know that there was somebody out there for me that I have so much compatibility with so I have to like take the positives out of every situation and that's what I was saying yesterday that you just take the positives from everything and this is just kind of the way life is at the moment uh, but when you do hear restrictions and when you do hear about more cases in your country you can't help but feel disheartened and you can't help but feel upset and you can't help but feel disappointed because you feel like I feel like on my end 
that you have tried to do as much as I can and that's what I did not like getting back to the whole thing about the tea shock last night talking I just felt like he was pulling an awful lot of personal responsibility out there I understand everybody has their own personal responsibility but it's not our fault that this virus is in here in this country uh, it's not their fault either and it kind of annoyed me last night when I heard him like blaming people um which i understand like that it is per people's personal responsibility but nobody has ever lived through a pandemic in their entire life so nobody knows what to do with it and it's very difficult to ask young people but under the age of you know under the age of even 50 even 60 like it's very difficult to ask people to just stay at home and don't go anywhere and it's very hard to ask elderly people who have been doing that staying at home and going nowhere to continue doing it like for how long what about people's mental health I just feel a bit annoyed and I just feel like there is no roadmap from our government and it's just kind of just kind of annoyed me again and it's caused I suppose a lot of anxiety within people like I was listening to a radio station this morning I listened to it every morning 98 FM and they do like little updates and after I was listening to it, I was like, do you know what? I just need to kind of step away from this whole COVID thing sometime because it just gets in on you sometimes and you just really feel, I don't know, you just feel like, what is the point? <laughs> like, what is the point? There's nothing that anybody can do. We just have to try and do our best, I guess. So I'm just not worrying about anything. And what I'm gonna try and not worry about anything, I still kind of worry about certain things, but I'm just gonna go with the flow. My permanent job interview will come up eventually. Patty and I will buy our dream home soon. And I'm just gonna keep saying those things. I mean, I am such an advocate and I am such a believer in the law of attraction and I practice it forever. And I don't know why now when I actually need to be practicing it the most that I'm kind of like, oh. I don't know but anyway I'm just gonna try and turn this whole day around and be a little bit more positive and not be like too upset over everything that the government said yesterday um, Paddy has his semi-final this weekend and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to go to it I was talking to his mom and she was saying like we should have no problem like walking around the outskirts of it because I really want to go and see it I haven't been to any of his matches this year just with COVID and stuff like that so I am looking forward to seeing this semi-final this weekend and hopefully I can go to it and um, like I said his mom said there should be absolutely no problem there his mom and dad are gonna go with their dogs so I, I'm, I'm gonna go and see how we get on anyway I'm nearly at Ollie's house so I'm going to live and leave and I will talk to you later on well hi guys welcome back to my vlog I feel like I'm actually talking to you guys today I'm just gonna show you the new stuff I got in Aldo Victoria's Secrets I just filmed it there now and I've just put them away and what's going on with my hair here I just realized I didn't curl one whole bit of my hair look at that so I'm gonna go and curl that now so yeah I just filmed all the new stuff that I got from Aldo and Victoria's Secret and I tried on the bralette and I, I talk about it in a few minutes Um, I got a size medium do you know what it's actually it's it's a little bit bigger but it's fine I, I think I'm just gonna hang on to it for the sake of actually running into town changing it it's just effort and I'll just hang on to it in a medium so I'm wearing the new jumper that I hauled and I'm wearing my new bag so you can see them right now I guess I'll show you what I got in Aldo now because it's been like two days <laughs> And I was supposed to show you yesterday. So I got this pair of shoes here, um, which were 65, and then everything was 50% off. So they ended up being like 17, 18 euro. And this is what they look like. They're just really basic black court shoes. You just slide your foot into, they don't have any like strap in the back. They're very, very, very comfortable. Really easy to get your foot into. And I just, I really liked them. They came in like a lime green as well and a white. And I did see on their website that they were in pink also, but you can't order Aldo shoes the, from the Irish website anymore because the shoe shop is gone now here in Ireland, which is really, really sad. So they were the shoes. I took this bag, so I'm gonna have to open it. You can kind of see what it looks like there. So let's rip this open. This is what the bag looks like. It finally got into it. Look at all the stuff that was in it. it was so annoying. So that's what the bag looks like. It's really, really cute. And I do quite like a nude bag and I didn't have one. This was 50 down to 25, I think. Or was it 40 down to 20? I'm not sure, but it was roughly around 20 something euro. Hang on, I have my receipt here. So it was... 
do, do, do. yeah 50 originally so obviously i got that down to 25 the little strap that i need to put on the bag as well so i can wear it cross bodied so i attached everything there i really like this bag i think it's so pretty i just really like the decoration on it or the chain on it and stuff i just thought it was such a pretty bag so couldn't pass that up finally i got these little earrings they're just little hoops with little hearts on them i just thought they were so cute and they're gold i just i really liked them so couldn't pass them up so those three things are all i got in aldo i went to victoria's secret and i only bought a sports bra and then i saw matching kind of undies for it so i was like oh let's get these uh, i picked up the medium in the sports bra and i kind of am regretting it now because i'm looking at it more and more and i'm like i should have got the small i usually wear the extra small or small but um i just felt like my extra small were just gone a bit tight on me obviously i've gained a few lbs but i said maybe i just get the medium for being to be extra comfortable so this was how much was this 18 euro i think they had a special on and then i saw the matching undies that i thought were really cute these were only 10 euro i know you can get like the five for whatever it is 35 euro but i didn't see any other ones that i really wanted and i just kind of liked this color I had to go into pennies yesterday because i've been hearing so much about this andrew fitzsimons pro curling iron their hair blow dryer and the straightener i couldn't get the straightener or the blow dryer but i picked up the curler and i think i'm gonna do a video for you guys just to show you what this looks like it's only 14 euro but i literally had to run into pennies because i was like i need this in my life i just really want to try it out on youtube i already have my new me curler which is here but it's a much bigger barrel so i just thought that this might give nicer more tighter curls i don't know so i'm gonna try it out anyway and then i picked up this new hoodie while i was in there as well it was 14 euro as well and it's just really really cozy i like these jumpers from pennies i have them for a very long time because they're just i don't know they're made kind of different they have that fleecy material in the inside and they just wash really well and i have one in like lime green and like pink pink as well and I just, I really like them. So anyway, I'm going to put all my stuff into my new bag over there. This bag's not actually old. I have it since the beginning of the summer. I just, I'm kind of over the colour of it now because it's pink, or purple rather. And we're kind of getting into more autumn season. So I'm going to go and put everything in here. I'm actually going to go over to Jenna right now. I'm going to pick up some coffee. It's just my lunch break and um, I have a few more emails to do when I get back so I'm gonna try and catch up with all my work. This jumper is actually mahoosive, like it's a small, like a size six to eight, but it's so big I've had to roll up the sleeves and everything. I really like a big jumper and I just absolutely love this color, like it is such a nice color. I was trying to get hold of the hair dryer I showed you the hair curler from Penny's. I was trying to get hold of the hair dryer. Sorry, I think there's a glare off my glasses. Sorry, I took them off initially. But um, I th I was trying to get hold of the hair dryer from Penny's as well. And I couldn't find it in Blanchardstown Penny's. I don't know why it's not in there. And I just forgot about it when I was in town the other day. Yeah, I don't know what the story is. I think it just must be selling out. So I am going to get it sent to me. I just contacted Penny's. I was like, I really want to do a video with this hair dryer. It's like a 180 watt hair dryer. Like the Dyson hair dryer is 100 and, or sorry, 1800 watt. The one from Dyson is 1600. So it has 200 more watts of power and I'm just dying to see what it's like because I had the Dyson hair dryer uh, a few years ago and I just I don't know what happened to it I lost it during the move or something so I don't have that anymore I never really like it was a good hair dryer but it was 400 euro it was just I don't know just a little bit overpriced so I'm gonna see if this 14 euro hair dryer can compare because I do remember what the Dyson one was like and like I said it's just a very overpriced hair dryer so I'm very excited to get the the other one in the in the post in the mail and i will definitely do a video on that when i get it because i think they've just launched in ireland so it's going to be super exciting just to try it out and i'm dying to try out the hair curler as well because i'm using my old hair curler at the moment um hence missing a whole big chunk <laughs> clearly i'm not doing too good anyway i'm gonna go pick up coffees go over to jenna and i'll talk to you guys in a bit you can see how huge this jumper is on me it's like a dress so i've just been tucking it into the waistband and i think it just kind of makes it look a bit better a little bit slouchy but not like too 
kind of oversized where it looks like a, a dress on me. So yeah, let's go uh, get our coffees. I cannot keep the up with the weather. Device is connecting us successfully. Okay, thank you for connecting to my Bluetooth. <laughs> my Bluetooth um, car radio thing is Chinese, obviously. And uh, she always sounds really Chinese when she speaks to me. I love her. The weather in Ireland just can't seem to make up its mind. Uh, we're in the middle of what's known as Storm Ellen. And... Uh, yeah, so it was really stormy last night. Like I've seen pictures of places down in Cork and stuff that were really, really bad. Like we were lucky in Dublin, it wasn't too bad, but I saw like places down in Cork and other parts of Ireland that there was like so much damage done. Like the worst that I've seen right now is my windscreen is a bit covered in debris and there's leaves and branches on the on the ground but it's nothing kind of extreme whereas I did see like some cases in down the south of Ireland where it was just so bad where there was trees literally blowing over and everything so hopefully we've seen the end of Storm Ellen here in Dublin and that it's not that bad um, or that it's not gonna get worse or that it's not coming up to us um, but it is it's very windy it's so autumn you know today I can't deal with it I love it so much I'm so excited to go get coffee right now I haven't had a takeout coffee in about two weeks which is so not like me I've been just used to making my own coffees I guess I've been drinking a lot of tea lately I go through phases of like tea and coffee and I feel like during the pandemic obviously because the coffee shops and stuff were closed I was making more of my own coffees like iced coffees and like just experimenting with different like flavors of coffee and stuff I don't know you know the way you experiment with these things so it's so beautiful out the weather is really really warm it's 14 degrees today which I know like when I'm talking about like temperatures here in Ireland people are like oh my god you'd want to be in like such and such and such a part I have followers from the warmest parts and the coldest parts of the world but I feel like when Ireland <laughs> gets any sort of warm weather we're all like oh my god it's so hot Ireland because we're just not used to really high temperatures. It's just, it doesn't get really high temperatures here. We don't get really high temperatures here in Ireland. I think during the lockdown, we had like peak weather of about, I think it got up as far as 28 degrees one day, which is, I suppose, still quite cool when you compare it to like parts of Spain or parts of America. You know, like Texas gets really, really warm and Arizona, obviously, and you know, crazy but uh, yeah this is like our high temperatures would be like 15 degrees on a normal summer's day you're like oh it's a nice day today <laughs> and then a really hot day is 25 degrees Paddy had a really bad migraine this morning the poor thing I felt so bad for him he literally couldn't move out of bed he didn't get to go into work till late this morning and I just felt so awful for him so I was trying not to move too much in the bed and I had to do a little bit of work in the bed um well not I didn't have to do work in the bed but I needed to clock in and just check my emails and do a few things and I was worried that the light was going to annoy him because I just didn't want to I didn't want to leave him I felt really bad for him and both of us suffer from them which is just the worst and obviously I have found ways to kind of tackle my migraines and Paddy can't swallow pills which is the worst because some of them cap Capsules are bloody huge that I take on a day like they're they're big like and if you can't swallow capsules or tablets you're gonna struggle with them so I'm trying to get them an alternative and I think Ferrograd is the way we're gonna go which is a supplement it's a vitamin supplement and he's been taking that for the last few weeks and I think it's like it's working but obviously not enough because he's still getting migraines oh it just sucks they are awful like they're so debilitating and I just I felt awful for him this morning anyway I'm in insomnia right now I'm gonna go in and get my caramel macchiato and Jenna's what she get? A large cappuccino. Skinny cap, that's exactly what she gets. I was like, I better think of what it is now before I go in.